Hi, we're Ed and Latonya Sutton. We've been married for 31 years. We got married when I was 22 and Ed was 23. And I believe we say that the secret to our marriage is the word respect. I agree. We talked about this and respect is huge for us. It always has been. We always wanted to treat each other pretty much the way we want it to be treated. And with that, with certain words we just didn't play around with. We didn't play around with who was going to sleep on the couch, like, oh, you're going to sleep on the couch tonight, that kind of thing. We never played with that. Never said the D word. Um, we, and um, yeah, and we haven't talked the D word in playing. Sometimes, you know, as couples you might play around with that, but we do have to be accountable for the words that we speak. And so with that being said, in our 31 years, those are two things that we haven't played around with. I've never called her out of her name unless it was sweetheart or babe. I love it. Hello, we're the Pittmans. My name is Mae Pittman. And my name is Luther. We've been married for 37 years. We got married on September the 10th, and I was 21 years old. And I was 19. The secret to our longevity in marriage had to be, again, it could be cliche, but uh, Christ is the center. Every day we do devotion together. Yes. We get up and we read the scriptures and we meditate and we pray together. Couples that pray together stays together. And I think that's really one of the keys. Having couple times, date night, those are things that kind of keep men in your hearts together. Um, also, maybe attending um, marriage training, marriage seminars, but you've got to find a way to reconnect on a daily basis. And that's what keeps you in love with one another, having fun, making memories, and um, just enjoying life together. Um, I encourage you to, you know, maybe find someone that's a mentor. If you've been married like a short period of time, that can help you uh, because there will be times that you disagree. Is that yeah, correct? That's true. So when you disagree, you need, um, you know, like some help, someone to come alongside to help you through those rough spots. Um, but you remember, you remember the covenant. That's true. The covenant that you made before God and you made, whether you stood before a justice of the peace or if you stood before, you know, a pastor in a church, you remember the covenant and that when I said I do. We did. I, and we still do. Uh, yes. I still do. Still I do. do. You do. I do. I do it again. We are Mark and Kristen Oliver. And we have been married nearly 27 years in June. I was a child bride at 19 and Mark was 23 when we got married. They always say opposites attract. I think that's true for personalities, but we have so many common interests and I think that's a big key. We are different personalities, definitely. I think that's a plus, but we have so many things in common. We enjoy the doing the same things together secret to our longevity and not just longevity but actually having a an awesome marriage i think uh the key is in ephesians 5 uh, and it's very interesting if you go and read it it has all this stuff that it talks about that a man needs to do and there's one little phrase for women it says women respect your husbands i decided that i was going to become the woman of his dreams and the lord really worked with me through that and i, I think that's probably a lot of the the success of our marriage is I put him where God told me to put him and I put his feelings and his desires and his wants above myself. You have to make a choice that you want an awesome marriage and you have to at some point start doing what the word says and start honoring him and respecting him. I think and when you do that, um, man, God's just going to bless it. And to go along with that, I mean, we're told to love our wives as Christ loved the church, and that's the beginning of it. And God is always number one. Your spouse is number two. And I think too many times people put their kids above their marriage, and they do whatever for the kids before, the, for, before their spouse. And, of course, you do everything you can for your kids. We all do. But your spouse comes before your kids and because they're going to be there for 18, 19 years or whatever. You still got a long time with your wife. So 
the intimacy is definitely a priority. How's your sex life? Uh, because I think that's very telling. I think that's very important that that's a priority. Uh oh. <laughs> that that's a priority. We always in agreement on purchase, large purchases and that kind of thing, and we take care of it together. We don't just uh, pawn it off on one of the other persons. So we don't ever fight about money. I mean, it's that's one thing because that's trouble. We've been able to deal with things from our past, and it able it enables you to have a marriage that. You know, like I said, you're not bumping into each other. And thank goodness we have tons of resources at this church that you don't have to go on being wounded and being hurt and you can be set free. And I think that's a huge part of a successful marriage as well. Date night. We're fixing to take a date night. Make that a priority. Okay. Uh, I'm Billy Sawyer. This is my lovely wife, Billy Faye. Uh, my joy is that I am uh, Billy's wife for 60 years, uh, but I love to say that my name is Billy Faye and that Billy calls me honey and my children call me mother and my great grandchildren and grandchildren call me Nana, but God calls me his. I was had just turned 19, but you were 18. Yep, a little younger. <laughs> <laughs> and we met, uh, I was in the swimming pool, actually a swimming pool tank, and with my bathing suit, of course, up to here, down to here, and Billy had been picking cotton, and he came in to get some water, and his mother told me this is what he said for sure. Who is that girl in the tank swimming with my sister Betty Sue? And she told him it was Billy Faye, and he said, I'm going to marry her. So That's we true. did. That's true. Love August it. the 9th. Love at first sight. Yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. 1959, August the 9th. What is the secret to our marriage? Secret. Oh, the secret. Well, hey, keep God number one. Yes. Okay. And when you have your differences, uh, work it out, talk it out, and don't go to bed without working out your differences. Before we go and, to sleep. And have a lot of patience. And I just know that God's in control and it's gonna, everything's fine, it's gonna work out. And hey, you're in it for the long haul. That's right. And a good sense of humor, I might add. <laughs> Hi, my name's David Acock and this is my beautiful bride, Glenda. Well, thank you for that introduction. Well, David and I have been married 37 years and July 31st, it will be 38. I was 18 years old when we married straight out of high school. And I was 21. And David was 21. And you know what? I wouldn't trade it. And we've been asked the question, what makes our marriage work? And I think one thing is we just embrace every season and I can trust that my husband hears the voice of the Lord. And when he shares something with me, we can test that. And when we're not in agreement, we're in disagreement. So we don't move forward till we agree. So what's your take on how our marriage has lasted 37 years? Well, <laughs> it's uh, been just ourselves, which wasn't very long. It's our children and now it's our grandchildren. And. Um, that I think is what makes um, everything just work out so well that um, we love each other probably more now than we ever have. I agree, I agree. And it is so fun watching your children parent mm -hmm. and the joy of being a grandparent, but the joy of knowing when Christ is in the center right. of our marriage, that's what we're modeling for the next generation. Yeah. So I'm in for the long haul, what about you? I am too. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Bill Hale, and this is my wife, Lisa. Hi, we got married at, I was almost 20, and he robbed the cradle, he was 29. Uh, we've been married 42 years this January. Number one would be to have Jesus in your marriage, because you've got to have somebody to cry out to and pray when things get bad, and they will get bad. <laughs> so. We met in a church, and we've been involved in churches our whole marriage. Humor is a big part of our this marriage. Women, men love it when you tell them what to do. And men, always remind your wife how to drive. 
those are two things that'll keep the marriage really like this. That's that's the secret. <laughs> Maybe the the serious side of our humor is that we're all flawed, and forgiveness of each other and understanding from each other just takes care of a lot of issues. He's more flawed than I am. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Big time. I start the fights, she <laughs> refuses to participate. <laughs> but when I do... <laughs>